What's your thoughts? Yeah, I reckon you're spot on. <laughs> Who do you reckon? What's me? This could be you. This could be you, bruh. Mate, wait, camera's, camera's on you two. It's something about you two, I reckon. <laughs> Mate, it's on you, bro, I'm telling you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, just like to ask Dice to come up and say a few words. Yes, yeah, Scotty. Alright, oh, my boys. I'm gonna borrow your lectern, mate, so I might need it for this one. Here we go. Righto. Um, lads, uh, I did um, come to this decision uh, some time ago, but um, I do owe an enormous amount of uh, gratitude towards Brad for his full support, um, backing me in and empowering me to make this decision. Uh, but today I'll be stepping down as the skipper of the club. Um, there's a little tacker. Uh, playing AFL footy was a dream, let alone playing for the club uh, I supported, and then let alone further becoming the captain of that club. And it is, um, you know, it's crazy, it is crazy to think of the, the list of names that have had the honour before me. Um, you know, over the last six years, I've had enormous pride and respect for my role as the captain. And leadership can be a bloody tough caper at times, but um, I've had so much joy. It's played a big part in my growth as a person, uh, player and teammate. Um, also, I owe an enormous amount of gratitude and thanks to the various players, playing groups, coaches and staff, uh, board members for backing me in over the years, as well as our loyal fans and members. Um, and a special shout out to, to Wispy, Joe Watson, um, who I learned so much from. I feel very privileged to have that calibre of leader as a, as a role model. Um, yeah, when I think about what I wanted to be as a leader, I wanted to, to ensure that every player that played under my leadership felt comfortable to be themselves that I was there for my teammates no matter what and always had a time of day for them. I wanted to face challenges with energy and optimism and see any adversity as a great opportunity to learn and grow. I wanted to set a high standard for you guys and help guide and develop my younger teammates and I hope that I've played a positive part in some way or another to each and every one of you in this room and to my teammates that have been and gone. I'm extremely excited for this next chapter and to help guide and mentor the next skipper in whatever capacity uh, is needed. And that, uh, that person will be the 41st captain of the Essendon Footy Club. Um, so I'm, I can't wait um, for that announcement. And uh, this next chapter is going to be a bloody good one. So thank you, boys. Good on you. publicly and privately a lot this preseason. I've been incredibly impressed with Dyson. I've admired him from afar for a long time uh, through his whole career. He's led this club through uh, probably one of the more difficult uh, eras or periods in this club's long and proud tradition and he's just done an exceptional job and in all the, the feedback that we got from all of you guys, Dyson still ranks right up the top with you know, his, the leadership he provides you know, he's an unbelievable motivational leader, as all of you guys know. But I think what is a great reflection on Dyson and on, on this club is that you know, coming in as a new coach, I was really keen for stability for our football club. And stability uh, would have meant that we keep our captain. But Dyson just really felt that it was time and the right time for him to focus on his footy and for a new leader to emerge. So I think that just speaks volumes to him as a person. He's always put this club first. And the longer you're involved in footy, the more you realise that football gives more to you than you will ever give back to the game. And I think as soon as you start to think that the game owes you something or that you're entitled to something, you know, it's when you really lose the meaning of what it means to play AFL footy. So we're really fortunate to have had you uh, lead this football club. You've done an incredible job. And the great thing is, you know, we don't lose him. You know, he's still the person he is, the leader he is, and we'll still have him, even though we'll have a new captain for 2023. So for me, mate, as a new coach, you've just been exceptional the last five months. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can do this year. Thanks, Brad. Good on you, mate.
Lynn Boy. Lynn Boy. Good man. Thanks, my guy. Good on you, bro. Appreciate you. Good man. Love you, mate. Good on you, brother. Good on you, brother. Thanks, my man. Appreciate you. You didn't have me tearing up. Yeah, there we <laughs> yeah. go. Ah, good man.